The first time we came across this locally made mouthwash was on the night of December 21, 2017. Operatives of the Food and Drugs Authority and the police had swooped on vendors of tramadol, aphrodisiacs and other unauthorized products. Items seized included different brands of mouthwash. Out of curiosity, we engaged one of the vendors. This first breath mouthwash, it solved all sort of oral infections like bad breath, toothache, and gum bleeding and some others. I learned it from Workers College and they taught us uh, so many things like liquid soup and the others. So uh, it took us for the day. We were about uh, 300. We all sat in the classroom. Samuel also further revealed he adds more ingredients to improve its efficacy, though it has not been taken through any scientific tests. I learned about five. I added a little bit of to it from the internet. Have you registered your drug? No, I was trying to send it to, for them to check whether it's qualified for me to register. It's because of financial. Head of the Herbal and Supplements Department of the Food and Drugs Authority, Yimano Yaokwating, stressed that the authority will rid the streets of such products. I don't know how that one-day training can make you so competent to produce wholesome medicines for the public. Even if you think you, are, you, you have uh, obtained the competency, the laws of this country requires that you go through a process, setting up your manufacturing area, registering the products, FDA making sure that you, you, your products are efficacious and are safe for the public. And we intend to sustain it for as long as it will last. These products you see here will be taken to the lab, FDA lab, to determine what other orthodox medicines that are added to this. <laughs> Close to one and a half years on, nothing has changed. Those involved in the manufacturing and sale of the unapproved mouthwash had multiplied with newly introduced brands. The Kwame Nkrumah Circle is a hub for the illegal trade and this prompted the news team to go undercover. For two months, we were on the streets monitoring the illegal mouthwash trade. Different types had surfaced, either in liquid or powdered form, with others from Nigeria. To gain more insight into their activities, we opted to learn the processes involved in the business. Management of Edna Mouthwash gave us an offer, but at the cost of 500 CDs. Yes, we are ready to teach you how to do it, but you must make a deposit of 300 sellers. We shall take the balance as soon as we are done with the session. The training, which lasted about 10 minutes, took place at the 37 lorry station. All one needs is water hydrogen peroxide, citric acid, and Listerine, some of which experts say could be harmful. Moreover, there is no definite formula for mixing the ingredients. Hydrogen peroxide, for example, is harmful especially if not properly handled. According to a study released in London on February 1, 2017, a streak of hydrogen peroxide promoted by alternative health devotees, can kill humans. Per the report, at least five persons out of 100 after consuming high concentrations of hydrogen peroxide as an additive to their diet, fell severely ill and died. Eating fruits and vegetables that have these chemicals on them can negatively impact your health. These facts are open knowledge among the manufacturers. Yet, mixing such chemicals for oral use right here on the streets is common. This is not an edible substance. It is used only in the preparation of the drug. So, after purchasing the ingredients, we proceeded to the Kolibu Teaching Hospital for further clarification. Checks at the dental department corroborated concerns 
about unexplained dental complications emanating from the use of uncertified mouthwash. And this poses a lot of problems to these patients. Initially, they tell you they had pain relief, but subsequently the pain becomes very severe and then later leads to abscess formation. And then it could spread into the chest eventually. And we have to actually admit them on the ward and drain these abscesses. We have to give them IV antibiotics and some of them do not even survive. Another scam is its efficacy. Nineteen-year-old senior high school student is a victim. He had been seeking solutions for bad breath after he lost his frontal teeth in a motor accident. I just bought the thing on the roadside, and I mean the person told me that if I use that mouthwash, I will not experience any bad mouth if I talk to anybody. So that's I mean that's the reason why I just bought it. But actually, I didn't get any positive effect of it. My teeth, like it remained the same, and the sense also remained the same. It was then time to seek answers from the regulator, the Food and Drugs Authority (FDA). Head of Cosmetic and Household Chemical Substance Department at the head office, Emmanuel Nkrumah, was the respondent. Anything you put into the mouth can get into the general circulation or into the body. So we treat these product categories as high-risk products. So if a product like this product um, is being manufactured by unknown people not going through the right process, putting it out there when it's not supposed to be on the market, it's an offense. Emmanuel Nkrumah further identified some unusual batch number and other symbols in the labeling of the products. But this particular name, the brand, is not in our database. And if you look at the, la the label, uh, the person tried to also uh, imitate or copy and put an FDA registration number on the product label. And that is not the format that we use. The FDA by law is mandated to provide and enforce standards in the food, herbal, cosmetics, drugs, medical devices and household chemical substances. But how effective is its role? It's efficient and reliable just like the police once you give them the information we are paid by the good people of this country to do what we do and to protect the good people of this country if we don't do what we are supposed to do at the end of the day it will end on my table so we do the best we can with the resources we have to make sure we protect the people of this country our efforts to subject samples of the products to scientific tests from some state institutions was unsuccessful the University of Ghana Dental School had earlier collected samples of the mouthwash but required up to 30,000 CDs to conduct the study at the Ghana Atomic Energy Commission. It involves money and the budget is around 25,000, 30,000. Our request to get the Noguchi Memorial Institute of Medical Research to assist in conducting the test was also not successful. An application dated April 9, 2019 is yet to receive any response. Even though the scientific analysis of samples of these mouthwash is yet to be carried out, the Public Health Act 2012 as well as the FDA regulations are clear on what constitutes fake, substandard or imitated products. Under the Public Health Act of 2012, Act 851, a person commits an offence if that person manufactures, sells or offers for sale food and drugs that are not of the nature, substance, quality or prescribed standard.